sources are telling your channel that the election commission is gearing up for general elections. The election commission has sought a 330 crore rupee budget to buy 4 lakh electronic voting machines. Uh, the EC has uh, cited upcoming uh, state assembly elections and general elections as the reason. More details on this exclusive news break are coming in from our political editor Navika Kumar. Uh, Navika, thanks for joining in. So we know that a budget has been sought by the election commission. Uh, is this general practice or can one uh, think of early polls? Well, uh, whichever way you look at it, uh, the Election Commission has put down its requirements uh, on uh, paper and sent it across through the Ministry of Law and Justice to the government. In fact, this is the note for the cabinet that I have in my hand. In this note, clearly, uh, here is the mention of 330 crores that has been sought for the purchase of EVMs. These EVMs have been sought by the Election Commission for the upcoming uh, uh, Legislative Assembly elections in five states. Also. The the upcoming general elections. In fact, uh, the Election Commission has cited several reasons, including reasons like several of these machines are even locked in legislative disputes. Uh, all of these issues mentioned in this uh, particular note, it says uh, that uh, the uh, EVMs are required not only for uh, the five state elections, Madhya Pradesh, Mizoram, Delhi and Rajasthan uh, in the fall uh, in December 2013, but also says for the general elections to the legislative assemblies of Andhra Pradesh and Odisha and Sikkim are also due along with general elections to the Lok Sabha. So all of these uh, issues in the background, the uh, Election Commission has demanded uh, a, a sum of 330 uh, crore to buy about 4 lakh units of electronic voting machines and about 2.5 lakh uh, control room uh, equipment. It says here... Uh, these uh, BUs, which are uh, business units, are required to be available for the use in the general elections to Lok Sabha. So that's also mentioned, uh, uh, and, and it states that uh, with the declaration of elections, uh, immediately these requirements will be there. Uh, EVMs used in general elections in the aforesaid five states, well, therefore, will not be available for general elections to Lok Sabha as the process uh, will take its own time. So all of these uh, reasons are given, along with the this, what they have also stated is that about 825 crore needs to be uh, set aside uh, because that was supposed to be shared 50-50% with states uh, but now the centre should bear the entire cost. This is the approval that has been sought. It says in view of the aforesaid, the approval for the of the cabinet is required to for purchase of 4 lakh ballot units of EVMs and about 2.5 lakh control units uh, that are required and a budgetary provision of 330 crore is required for this. It also goes on to say that about 825 crore on account of state's expenditure also needs to be reimbursed. So about uh, 1100 crore is what the government will have to sell out. But the big question is, is the election commission getting ready for elections already? Uh, well, we can't really surmise the timing of elections, but at least uh, movement on the election commission's front has begun and what we are seeing at this moment is the election commission has geared up uh, for elections sending its uh, recommendations to the government asking uh, for uh, money to be set aside and for electronic voting machines to be procured uh, in order to carry forward the entire process of uh, elections what we are uh, also being told is that this entire matter uh, will be cleared by the government uh, when it comes up before it. In fact, uh, uh, here is uh, what uh, time schedule and manner of implementation. After getting approval from cabinet, necessary sanction will be issue, uh, issued to the election commission to purchase all of these EVMs as has been requested by the election commission. As of now, election commission does not have its own budget. Uh, it really meets its uh, expenditure through uh, what the government sanctions to it. So uh, we are beginning to see countdown to elections timing as of now, no date has been set by the election commission but work on in full swing as far as the election commission is concerned the election commission clearly working for the five state elections due uh, by the end of the year that is rajasthan madhya pradesh chhattisgarh mizoram and new delhi uh, and also looking at general elections very very closely soon after that also saying that other states three other states also have to go to elections with the general elections and that is the work that is cut out for the election commission Countdown to polls beginning at the Election Commission. Preparations in full swing. 
when will be the real date? That's the big question. It is a big question indeed. And uh, some eyebrows also going up in our newsroom, Navika, wondering if uh, this is preparation for midterm polls. But like you correctly pointed out, uh, this could be just uh, preparation uh, for the general elections uh, scheduled for next year. But interestingly, like you pointed out, uh, Navika, uh, the, uh, the Election Commission has asked for 825 crores, uh, the cost of uh, EVMs, uh, from the, st uh, from the uh, central government uh, when uh, typically uh, it would be the states who would have to get this money out of their coffers. Well, uh, there was an existing formula of 50-50% uh, that is shared between the state and the uh, central government. That is because several state elections, local body elections, also the same EVMs are used and these are lent by the centre to the states. And